figure, in this tutorial, we are going to use Starfire IP Intercom to achieve group call. As you can see here, we have all the devices connected to outdoor station, to indoor station, and uh, an intercom switch. All the devices are working on the gateway of 192.168.1.1. The main indoor station has an IP of 109 and the sub indoor station has an IP of 108. And uh, the two outdoor stations are 110 and 111 respectively. If you want to know how to change the IPs and use other features like P2P, please refer to our another video tutorial called Dahua IP Intercom Tutorial. We have all the steps ready in an electronic copy. If you want to download it, please scan the QR code under the screen. As you can see here, we have two indoor stations. The first one is the sub indoor station and the second is the main indoor station. At the first first step, we are going to add the main and the sub outdoor stations IP into the main indoor station. Let's continue to log in. Press the settings, enter the default password 68, press OK to log in. You can see the master on the screen. That indicates this device is the main indoor station. Then let's go to the network tab. This is the default setting of the main auto station. And uh, let's press the navigate button to the sub auto station. Please change the name, IP address, and the status of the sub auto station. We can name the auto sta station sub and add the IP address of the sub auto station. This should be configured previously. And turn on the enable status of the sub auto station. Press the OK button to save the change. We have changed the status successfully. Let's carry on to make the configurations on the sub indoor station. Likewise, we need to log in. Enter password. After logging, you can see the room number and uh, it says master. Please press master to change the device to the sub indoor station. If you can see extension, that indicated this device has been the sub indoor stations. And then let's change the room number. We can add dash one. The digital number ranges from 1 to 9. You can enter any digital number you want, like dash 2, dash 3. Then please enter the master IP address. The master IP address is the main indoor station's IP address. And then press OK button to save the change. Afterwards, please navigate to the Network tab. Press the Navigate button to the sub outdoor station and turn on the Enable status. Press OK to save the change. At the second step, let's configure the two outdoor stations. Firstly, let's log in the main outdoor station which the IP address is 192.168.1.110. This is the default IP address. Enter the username and the password. After login, please go to the indoor manager and check if you have added the room number of the main indoor station. The default room number is 9901. 
and then go to the LAN config. Make sure you have you have the number five entered, and uh, then make sure you have checked the, the in checkbox of group call. That enables the, the group call of your outdoor station, and press OK to save the change. Please note you need to reboot the device to make sure the change has been saved. Likewise, we can go, go to the sub-outdoor station and make the same changes. The sub-outdoor station's IP address would be 192.168.1.111. You can change the IP address to any other if you want. Please enter the username and password. After login, please go to the indoor manager and make sure you have entered the main indoor station's room number and then navigate to the LAN config. Make sure you have entered the right number, it can be 3 or any digital number ranging from 3 to 5. And check the checkbox of group call which enables the group call of the outdoor stations. And then press OK to save the changes. Don't forget to reboot the device to save the change. At the final step, let's test the group call. Please don't forget to check if the connections between the outdoor station and indoor stations has been established. If you can only see one icon on the top left corner, that indicates the connection has been established without problem. Let's go to the main indoor station's video talk by pressing the first option. Navigate to the monitor. You can see two options, main and sub. Press the main button. You can see the connection between the main outdoor station and the main indoor station has been established. Return to the last menu and press the sub. You can see the connections between the sub outdoor station and the main indoor station has been established. Likewise, let's test the, the same things on the sub indoor station. Press the video talk, navigate to monitor, and you can see main and sub respectively on the screen. Press the main, check the connection. And then let's return to check the sub again. Now we have the two outdoor stations ready. The bottom left is the main outdoor station and the top left is the sub outdoor station. Let's try the call respectively. Please press the button. You can see two indoor stations show up the live video and you can answer or hang up the call by pressing the buttons on the screen. Let's hang up at the moment. Now let's try the sub outdoor station. Likewise, let's press the button and we can see the video call has been made. The end of the call. We have just tested the video call from the outdoor station to the indoor stations. It worked as expected. Now let's test the indoor station from one to another. As you can see, the bottom right is the main indoor station and the top right is the sub indoor station. Let's press video talk and go to call user. In the previous configurations, we have configured
the sub intro station as 9901-1 so in this case we only need to enter dash 1 and press the call button as the indoor stations has no video the call was made as a audio call then let's make the audio call from the sub indoor station press video talk go to call user in this case we need to call the main indoor station so let's enter 9901 and press the call button let's press answer hello the audio call has been made successfully and let's hang up the call so far we have successfully made a video call from the outdoor stations to the indoor stations and the audio call from the indoor station to another indoor station that's the end of the video tutorial if you have any further questions or queries please do not hesitate to contact us thanks for watching